when I dress up, it's, it's a little bit like it's a character. It does make you feel more confident and a bit more bold. And it's just nice to be different. My name's Roxy and I'm really into Japanese fashion. There's lots of different Japanese fashions that I'm into. But now I've kind of created my own style over time from lots of different inspirations. I would say I've been dressing like this for about six years. I think I first kind of started to learn about Japanese fashion probably when I was at university and I studied fashion and textiles and a book with all like different pictures of like street fashion from Harajuku really inspired me to start then a project on that and that kind of led me to develop my brand as well. And this is a dress by Angelic Pretty, which is a Japanese brand. And I bought this when I went to Tokyo. Um, I have a brand called Roxy Sweetheart with an online store. I also sell at events in London. I draw and illustrate clothing, um, such as this dress, but I also make jewelry and hair accessories, but also see Japanese fashion, very like kind of cutesy, pastel-y. Um, yeah. My style does reflect my personality, which is kind of cute and fun oh, and colourful. I think I probably own about 50 pairs of shoes ish. Yeah. Like, they're not all like this, although they're obviously all pastel and all cute in some way. But yeah, I have a lot of shoes and a lot of bags. <laughs> Growing up, I didn't really know where I fit in and um, I always kind of had an interest for fashion, but I didn't have the confidence to actually express that fashion. And I think actually it was when I came up with Roxy Sweetheart and then developing that, that's actually what gave me like the confidence, but it was very gradual. And now I feel like I'm at the point where I can just be who I am and do what I want. I don't feel like awkward about it anymore. for the outsider is like why are you wearing kid stuff or like is this a shop selling kid stuff but it's absolutely no. not it can be stuff. for kids well it can be and both. kids do like it but i mean in japan it's people with expendable income so it, it yeah. is people in the late teens and adults and yeah all the way up into old age even in Japan. I mean, it, yeah, it, in Japan it's normal like to be into, to have toys and be into like cute stuff and it's not yeah. like a thing. Hey. <laughs> Yay, <you're back laughs> kids. You know, if someone says to me, oh, it's childish, you know, I think maybe like from an outsider's point of view, someone who doesn't know anything about um, the fashion. But for me, it's very much a creative thing. I think in this world, like all these bright colours and things, I think it's nice, it's important to have this escape, to kind of have these things that make you feel good. 
My ultimate goal is to inspire people. And if, even if it's just a little bit, that's my main aim. I just want to inspire other people to express themselves. That's kind of what I do it for, ultimately.